Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very special unboxing, something that came in through your NAF sales. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Hopefully, um, we'll see what it is. All right. And my voice is a little hoarse. Um, we are at uh, my son's uh, band competition, and they won the area championship, so they're going to state. So super excited for them. I was yelling, top of my lungs for my son. So proud of him. All right, let's see here. Okay, this is going to have a little... A little box over here. All right, let's get this open. What do we got? Oh, we got some stickers. Look at that. NAF sale. Look at that. Very, very cool. Nice packaging. Like it. And let's get this right in there. We'll save this stuff because this is always great to reuse. By the way, today I'm opening up with my Quiet Carry. Drift L. This is the large drift. It's not the little one. And this is Vanic Super Clean Steel. Titanium textured. Really nice. Perfect weight. Has a nice drop action on phosphor bronze washers. You wouldn't know it. All right. Well, love stickers. I'm going to put those off to the side. Let's get into this. This is an Olin knife. So very, very interesting. I like the case. Really, really cool. What do we got? Oh, we got a pen in here. Was not expecting that. That's cool. Nice little... Oh, we got like extra padding in here. We do. That's cool. All right. All right. And there we got a nice little bag and everything. That's really cool. We'll put that back right there. All right. So this right here is. Does it say on here? It doesn't say on here. Oh, I know what it's called, but I can't tell you off the top of my head. All right. So first of all, beautiful size. Nice, big, hefty knife. Beautifully chamfered all the way around. Nice mill, deep pocket carry clip. Definitely get some nice deep carry. No no um, uh, lanyard hole, which I don't mind. I know some people will, but I don't mind that at all. All right, nice clip. Got some nice spring to it. This is micarta. It's kind of a nice micarta. I don't hate it, that's for sure. It feels, it feels really good. All right, so I've found some really cool micarta lately that I've not, not, I've not disliked. Let's put it that way. All right, this is... Really nice, it's an axis lock, crossbar lock, you can tell right there. Pretty hefty size, got some weight to it, so let's go ahead and flip this open. Oh, wow, okay. That popped open really, really nice. What do we got here for blade steel? I'm gonna have to look this up here real quick. All right, so let's say dead center, dead nuts centered. Yeah, this is the, I think it's like the GOAT XL or something. I'm gonna have to look it up real quick because I don't know off the top of my head. All right, I'm back. So this is the GOAT AXL. Uh, I'm not sure what that stands for, but uh, let's see. I've got a, a little site here. Um, it's M390 blade steel. Eight and a quarter inches is what it says it's supposed to be in the blade. It's supposed to be three and a half inches. So this is axis lock, or what they call a crossbar lock. The axis is beautiful. Look at that. Really, really nice. Let's go to the reverse flick. Oops. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a bigger one. You can get in there, you just get right in there, and it works really nice. You just put your finger right on there, and it deploys really nicely. The same with lefty. Okay. Now, does this work with one hand? I guess it sort of does. Yep, so you can open it and close it like that. That's really nice. Definitely a full-size blade. I like that. It's like a almost a straight back. I love this blade shape. I have several knives like this. I have my uh, Leon Ma. Uh, GSD2, and then I also have a Sakshi by Wee Knives, and they have this sort of a, almost like it's a flat, flat back blade. It's got a little belly there and everything. Comes a nice thin edge. Pretty sharp, yeah. 
M390 blade still. It's got some good thickness to it. Nice, thick, robust tip on there. Good thumb stud. It's got some weight to it. Let's look at the inside. Now, we don't see any great weight relief or milling, but it does have micarta inlaid, so that's the relief that you get. And it's a micarta backspacer, which is really nice. And then you have the clip, titanium clip. And these all look like they're probably T8s. Let's just go ahead and double check that, because they look like T8s, and I, I want to make sure. By the way, if you want to see, this is a T8. Okay. Yep, T8s. Yep, T8s. 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 All right, so this is not a captive pivot necessarily, so that means you do need two screwdrivers, unless one of the pivot is really glued in there well. The action's really nice. Look at that. It's nice to reverse flick here as well. It hasn't really broken in yet. It's still a little tight, but yeah, this is going to break in nicely once you once you get it in there. Definitely not a smaller knife. So if you want to compare this, like let's look at this compared to the Benjamate here real quick. We'll take a look. So definitely a much larger knife compared to a Benchmade, but definitely a competitor with a Benchmade, I would say, quality-wise, build-wise. I mean, you know, this Benchmade is great. Great action. It's nice and broken in for phosphor bronze washers, but I believe these are Cade ceramic ball bearings. At least that's what I was told. I don't know if that's true. I'd have to take a look on the inside. Let's see. Can we see? I would have to get a flashlight. Let's see. Well, it might be phosphor bronze. I don't know. I don't think. I do think that's phosphor bronze. It doesn't look like Kate ceramic ball bearings at all. So, there we go. The action's fantastic, though. Let's see here. No blade rock. Let's see in that, in that crossbar lock. Locks in there really nicely. Dead center nuts. Full utilization of that hand to blade ratio. Action is phenomenal. Beautifully chamfered, rounded, no sharp corners anywhere. The grip, the handle is great. You squeeze down here really tight. I can choke up here. You can choke up, like right here. You know, you can get your finger in there and it keeps it in place and you can choke up if you need to or if you need to do like a push cut, you know, a pinch, pinch grip all day long. Definitely works really nicely. And of course, like with any crossbar lock, access lock, you can pop it open and close it. So there you go. The action is really nice. Just much bigger, much more robust than I'm used to, so that is kind of nice though. I do like that a lot. Feels really solid. Okay, so everything's chamfered, like I said, really nicely rounded. I love that the, cro the uh, crossbar lock here itself. It's got a beautiful like little milling pattern on there. It's really, really nice. Feels really good. A little extra quality there. You can kind of see it looks similar to the thumb stud pivot there. Uh, I mean thumb stud, and the pivot is uh, anodized in the same kind of, um, I want to say, uh, it's like bronze titanium sort of, I don't know. It looks sandblasted, but not really. It's almost like a little texture to it. I don't know if it's texture ply peel, but it's like a little texture of some sort. That's interesting. Yeah, you can definitely feel that. Here, let's see if we can get a little zoom in on that. So you can see the card. it looks really nice. You can see the clip right there. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's a mill clip, so let me see if I can... I want to put my hand there so you can see the clip itself. Now let's look at the back here. And let's look at that blade. Nice flat black blade. Really comes up to a full flat grind all the way to the very top. So that's really nice. Almost completely hidden in there, blade. Really, really subtly tight. I mean, this is really great ergonomics. Got some nice heft to it and everything. Locks in. Yeah, absolutely solid in place. All right, so let's get a nice look up at this here. We'll zoom back out. Nice. Look at the back. It's really got a beautiful aesthetic to it. I really do like it a lot. Sorry about the voice. It's really hoarse, especially from all that yelling and cheering. Oh, man. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. You know what I think I'm going to do? Just because I have it here, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there. I like to just put a little touch right there. Alright, 
So I'm going to work that in a little bit. That's nice. All right, what I'm going to do is probably put a little bit of the heavy duty oil as well. I don't really see the Omega Springs in there, but nice. Just a touch right there. See how that goes. Maybe I'll put a little touch inside of here. All right, as it breaks in a little bit. There we go. It's larger, so it's a little harder to, to work back up here. Got to figure out how to get that up there. So, yeah, it's such a, it's a much larger blade. It's kind of crazy. I'm not used to an axis lock being that big, coming all the way up there like that. But that's cool. Definitely very cool. Definitely really, really cool. I am digging that. That's that's nice. Can put just a little here. See what we see if that goes works okay. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Really cool, really cool. All right, so you got a good grip. I got medium to medium, I got large hands actually, but medium lengthwise, so large hands. I got plenty of room right there, so extra, extra, double, extra large hands. If you do choke up, you've got tons and tons of room. It's good, nice contoured shape handles, which makes it very comfortable in the hand. Everything's chamfered or rounded on the corners, which makes it really, really comfortable. The action's really nice as it breaks in, really fantastic. And I do believe it's phosphor bronze washers. I mean, I don't think this is K ceramic wall bearings, which is pretty, pretty respectable, I think. That's pretty nice. If I'm not mistaken, the manufacturer is Riot on this. That's the reason why it's so nice. So, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I had heard. If not, whoever did it, they did an outstanding job. It is not a reversible uh, pocket carry clip. It's a right-hand tip-up only, so sorry, lefties. But, you know, this is, this is nice, though. If they ever make a lefty, that would be really cool, but... As you all know, lefties knives are much more expensive to make because you have to make smaller batches. You don't get the much, you know, volume discount as you would with a right hand. So, very nice, very very nice. I am digging this a lot. This is a great find. I got this off a of NAF sale. They had a sale for these. He had a guy there. Eric had a few of them, and I was able to get hold of one. It's super exciting. Super super exciting. Man, this is nice. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going to get a chance to break this in. I won't be able to carry it with me on my business trip, but I certainly will be playing with it when I get back, for sure. The Macarta is really nice. I like this color Macarta. This is nice. It's very subtle. It's kind of a really cool looking in that action. I love this axis lock. This is really nice. So that works really nice. Yeah, very, very cool. Everything I like about it. All right. And... Let's see here. Yeah, everything's round. No, nothing, nothing sharp. I was really feeling, I'm trying to find something. I mean, even this is nicely chamfered out for the, for the axis lock and everything. And even that, the, the pivots, I mean, you know, if you could add a little, you know, dazzle to it and put a captive pivot, that definitely would make it more expensive. This becomes much more feasible, you know, without a captive pivot. It becomes a little more, you know, able to, to afford something like that, right? You know, whereas if you have all those extra amenities, it does make the knife way more expensive for sure so but this is definitely nice i do like this a lot okay all right so that is that is the uh, olin o-h-l-o-n-e knives it's goat axl so i'm not sure what axl stands for i'm sure that somebody can correct me and tell me somewhere what that stands for i don't really have any clue but i think it's cool uh I don't know if it means like, you know, an axis large lock sort of thing. I don't know. But anyways, I love it. Very, very nice. So that is the Olin Goat AXL 
in green my carter. That's green. That doesn't look green to me. It looks tan to me. I don't know what how they determine the colors, but there you go. If that's green, that's green, I guess. But there you go. Really nice, minimal hardware, all T10s everywhere. That'll patina up really, really nicely, I think, and so will the backspacer. So, very, very cool. I like that a lot. Very, very neat knife. All right, so if you have any questions about this knife, um, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions for the channel about the review coming up. I'd love to hear from you. I do like to respond to the comments and everything. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please? very much would appreciate it consider hitting the subscribe button subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel allows the channel to grow allows me to produce more content do more things and ultimately do more things for you guys so thank you thank you very much i really do appreciate that hey and if you haven't already had a chance maybe you know hit that notification button down there as well so you can be notified of future content when it is released and finally go check me out over on instagram if you haven't already that again that's rob's Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives on Instagram. Again, Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.